Sonny is a, uh, he's, he's Dawn's best friend slash love interest uh, slash little pack of dynamite. Um, he's a very frantic character. He, you know, he messes stuff up only to want to fix it back again. And uh, I think he's, I consider him the heart and the through line of, you know, the story and, you know, wanting everything to just go right and Dawn to fall in love and, when everything is wrong, he's there. But when everything is right, he's there. What is my favorite song that uh, that I like to sing? I think Three Little Birds is my is my favorite one. Number one, that's the that's the uh, that's the song. I think that's the song I audition with, and uh, that's also the song that Don and I get to sing together. And it's it's like a range of emotion all in about maybe 45 seconds. I start off like being all cool and, you know, sunny-ish. And I'm like, ah, oh, Don, like, leave me alone. I'm singing, I'm performing. Like, let me be, let me chill. And then this big freaking gargantuan creature comes by and starts chasing me. So all my cool just goes down the drain. So I think it's like the greatest range of emotion I get to see from singing to being cool to being frantic to scared and didn't have to still try to be tough because I'm trying to impress Don at the end of the day. I think the, the, the mix of contemporary songs and classic songs is, is so brilliant because I think you merge the demographic, you know, because a lot of times most people that see these films are children, they're kids, but most people that have to take them there are their parents. So a lot of the times there's not a lot for the parents to enjoy. So now you have like this generational gap that evaporates. It's totally gone. And now these parents and their children, they have an opportunity to really truly share the experience. I think the message that sticks out to me the most is just being able to love freely and not, and not controlling the outcome, you know, Sonny tries to control the outcome so much. And I think if you just live and allow yourself to be in the moment and allow whatever may come to come, that to know if you really truly have that hope and faith in yourself that you'll come out on top eventually. You know, he does all this stuff that he thinks is going to get Dawn to a place of, you know, pure bliss and happiness. But at the end of the day, the only thing he ever should have did was be himself and know that him being there for her was the most important thing that he could do. And I think that's like a great message.